Hey guys, it's Adam EK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. Two big pieces of news today. We've got to pick our Splatfest teams for this weekend Splatfest in North America, but also we're going to try out a brand new map, Mahi Mahi Resort. Really cool gimmick on that, which we'll get into in just a second. We're going to let the uh, Squid Sisters here reveal, though. We've got word on high. Dracula's Fax Machine is added again. We have a Splatfest. And we have to decide which team. I'm going to wait till the last second to pick because I still have not decided, you know, a little bit of inside Splatoon there, inside baseball, whatever you want to call it, that's going on in my mind. I'm going back and forth. You will see the two teams here in just a second. There we go. It's burgers versus pizza. I hope you're hungry for action and food. They're America's greatest inventions. Burgers versus the most important meal of the day, pizza. So, Callie, are you going to be Team Burger or Team Pizza? There's nothing better than a nice, juicy burger. Well, except for the fact that pizza is way better. I don't know. This is so debatable. I don't know which one to go with. It's just so versatile. There's even dessert pizza. No one's ever heard of a dessert burger. I've seen burger with chocolate in it before. Ah, that sounds amazing. Well, what about you at home? It's time to decide. So we're going to go to the pledge box and figure out. But we also have a brand new map. I'm really excited for this one. It looks like it's gonna be amazing. Mahi Mahi Resort. I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm not too distracted by all the stuff going on in the background. Thank you guys for joining in. Mahi is gonna be in the rotation tonight for quite a bit and maybe will be one of the maps for the Splatfest. That is about to begin as well. Tonight we're just gonna stream the new map, try it out, get a little bit of practice, and then we will have the Splatfest in less than 24 hours. Not gonna stream it at an, an insane hour, but we will get to the Splatfest and have a big Splatfest stream as usual. So starting out, guys. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm looking at the chat, making sure that uh, I, I take you guys' opinion into, uh, into account here. But all right, let me see. I, I think I'm gonna go with burgers. I thought about this a lot. I love pizza and I love burgers. This is like choosing between Squid and Kid or Callie and Marie, something difficult like that. Choosing between my own children, my burger child, or my pizza child. I'm gonna go with burgers though, because as much as I love pizza, I feel like a good burger is a bit more satisfying to me than a good slice of pizza. But I love them both. This is probably the toughest Splatfest I've had so far to pick between the two. So I am Team Burgers. I think P Team Pizza might be more popular. Let's look around here. I don't see any Splatfest t-shirts on yet, but we're gonna get ours as well. Let me jump in here and put it on because I want to make sure we're leveling this up. That's another goal tonight. Oh, it's gotta be somewhere. There it is, all the way at the end. So there we go, Team Burgers. <laughs> Got the orange. Green is my favorite color, so I kinda was thinking I was gonna go with pizza for quite a while, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna level this thing up though. That's always good to do. Before you jump into the Splatfest, you kinda wanna wanna level up your t-shirt. And if you guys haven't seen these before, the, the way that the trucks work, before the Splatfest, I think 24 hours the trucks start to, uh, to pop up here where the Squid Sisters are going to be dancing. So there we go. We've got those uh, already ready to go, and they're putting up the billboards. So I'm going to try Turf Wars, I think, to start, and I guess we could start with the uh, the sloshing machine. That's not too bad for Turf Wars, and I think I'm good otherwise. Maybe a little bit more ink, ref or, uh, ink saver rather than ink, ink refill, and I'll put my samurai helmet on the bench for now. Okay, let's begin. We are going to try to uh, use the sloshing machine, the newest weapon that just came out. It's a nice little unique blaster-slosher hybrid. And uh, it looks like they're, they're trying to make a lot of weapons that are hybrids, like the splatling gun is, uh, is kind of like a charger-shooter hybrid. So what do we need now? We need like a roller shooter or uh, a roller blaster. I guess the, the ink brush is a little bit of a hybrid as well. It's supposed to be a roller, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's hard to describe that one. This is more of a ranked weapon, but we're going to try our best to uh, to use it a little bit, just in case you guys didn't see it in the uh, the last stream that we had. We did try out the sloshing machine. I think in general I do like it a lot. You just have to be a bit accurate with it, just like, just like one of the blasters that it kind of derived its weird little globs from. But yeah, it, it's based off a washing machine, if you guys couldn't tell. I, I don't think I mentioned that in the last stream, the washing machine connection. I thought it was pretty obvious, so I didn't say it, I don't think, because a lot of people I noticed in the chat were like, Adam, it's based off a washing machine, did you realize? <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I did realize that. I think I made a joke about, you know, washing your dirty gear, but uh, didn't quite uh, catch on with some people <laughs> I noticed. All right, but yeah, there you go. You got to keep a distance with this weapon. 
So it is a. Uh, do we have a charger or something? Somebody just got splatted from way far away. There's someone over here. Ooh. Yeah, this is uh, it's getting a little crazy in mid here. <laughs> but we're doing okay. This isn't the best for turf, like I mentioned, but it does have really good damage output if you can uh, be accurate with it. The blasters, I think I mentioned this a few times, but in the most recent update, 2.3, uh, you got to be careful with the blasters, because if you're not completely accurate with these things, then you're going to uh, not usually get that one hit splat like you did in the past. I got someone with that. Oh, that's water. I almost jumped in there looking at it like uh, like it looked like some nice bit of unclaimed turf. You gotta be careful because I see there's a lot of ink around here. I think someone else has their uh, has a sloshing machine as well or something because I'm noticing. Or there could just be a uh, somebody using a charger to uh, to snipe. But yeah, it looked like there was there was a lot of splat bombs going around, which usually makes me think a uh, somebody who's using a charger to try to get a lot of turf covered. I, r I have played this map. This is the, the museum, the other more recent map. I've played this a lot in uh, in ranked, so trying to... Oh, jeez. Trying to get up on that one area on, in enemy turf. Usually there's a little box there, but not in Turf Wars. You have to go around and, uh, and earn getting up there a little bit more. There's a lot of turf back here that we haven't gotten, so... I don't want to leave my buddies high and dry. Oh, we want to be dry, though, because Inklings hate water, but you know what I mean. I don't want to <laughs> leave them in a lurch over here, but we do need to uh, do need to get some of this other turf around here. If we're going to do too much. Yeah, there's a sloshy machine down there. I can see him going around. Ooh, how about one of these everywhere, everywhere? Bombs all over the place here. And then hopefully we'll get someone with those. They're kind of waiting because I think they know that I'm... I'm uh, back here. Oop, look out! There's a... Ah! Jeez! <laughs> Splat bombs back and forth. They're using squid beacons, which are really good to uh, to have in most maps. But yeah, especially in this one, it seems like having them keeps you getting back in here when some of those areas are hard to access. You can kind of hide the beacons pretty well. Oh man, I think we, we had the middle pretty locked down, but it looks like they came back, yeah, and took most of it. Now, hopefully we'll get the next or the, the new map on the next one. That was a good warm-up. Let's switch weapons to something that's better with turf covering. What do you guys think? What's a good good weapon for here? KittyCat17 says, I have a feeling burgers are going to win because pizza's more popular. So, in the past, in the first few Splatfests, the most popular team was winning most of the time because popularity gets you a lot of points, but they since changed it to make, make it so that uh, it was four times the points for win percentage. Now it's six times, so you have to be a good amount more popular than the other team if you're going to get that uh, gonna get that win based on popularity. So the, the least popular team has been winning for a little bit, but at the same time, maybe we'll do a roller real quick, because I saw a few people say rollers. And uh, oh, there's also the NZAP. Let's try that as well. But yeah, the, the least popular team tends to have a better win percentage, and I don't know why that is exactly. It could be if a team is really popular, then more, you know, general skilled or lower skilled players will, will jump in on that team, like kind of bandwagon, because that's just the popular choice. And maybe the, the I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's hard to really know for sure. We don't have all the, like, stats to back it up. But I, I think it might be, though, that because if your team is popular, you're going to have more, more range of skill sets on your players that have joined it. And then maybe the least popular team has a has more skilled players. Here we go. All right, look at this place. It's just a uh, a feast for the eyes. <laughs> so many different colors here. And it looks like Sheldon is sponsoring this map or something because we see the uh, Ammo Knight symbol. So the terrain here, after 90 seconds, it will raise up and give us more options. We got to jump this. That guy slowed me down a little bit. That was scary. Yeah, this is uh, this is very scary trying to navigate this, but a lot of this will... Uh, will will, oh jeez, get sniped. A lot of this will raise up. You see all those water parts are going to fill up with turf here after a minute and a half, I believe is what it is. And then you'll be able to uh, to get around a little bit easier and you'll have a lot more turf to cover. But I could definitely see why they uh, waited for this map because you, you can see here that it's pretty, uh, pretty tough to get around on some of this. You have to have some good jumping skills. This reminds me of single player quite a bit. And we get, ooh, and look out, I see someone way back there trying to charge in. It's probably, yeah, that charger user I gotta be careful with. 
They're gonna be in my way, messing with me. Go, go, go! Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! Can we get people from hiding behind here? Probably not. Oh, someone behind me. I just saw them. Oh, lots of splat bombs to look out for. So pretty soon here... Oh, I had my Kraken. I almost used it. Pretty soon here. A couple more seconds. The turf is going to raise up, and we should be able to get around easier. Slappy is just giving me the guff. All right, here we go. The alarms have sounded, I think. Oh, wow. It's like a... <laughs> it's a feel the rhythm of the steel drum. Here we go. The water levels are lowering or raising. I can't tell what it said. I missed it. I was trying to focus on uh, watching this thing happen. There we go. And now all of this turf is here for the taken. Can we get up and uh, take out Slappy there? I don't know. This is it risky going in? Kraken! Kraken time! Gotta get Slappy out. I think we got Slappy. Let me see. Who's hiding around here? I know someone is back there. Alright. I'm gonna try to get up high. Quick, quick! What? Hit me! Was it one of the bombs? I guess so. It just exploded and took me out. Seems like the blue team is way better than the orange right now. Maybe we got that level 7 player. I don't know for sure. There's still a lot of spots we have to jump here to really get around, but there is a lot of turf that's uh, going unclaimed that I don't know if uh, a lot of these guys are seeing. Okay, I need to try to get some more here if I can. And watch my back. Someone's just going to snipe me as soon as they see that I'm going through here. Jeez, this is... This is crazy. So much of this has been taken. And they're going th after me already. Where did they go? They're up there. I can get them. Maybe. Maybe not. I hit somebody. Alright, go, go, go. If I get enough of this middle turf, maybe I can uh, maybe I can crack in the last few seconds and take some people out. Nope. Oh, look out for that charger. Okay, crack in time. I'm going to try to get my turf going. And then, here we go. Slappy, where'd you go? Slappy, my friend. Leave me all alone. I got a, quite a bit at the end, but I, I feel like, yeah, everyone was back at, at our spawn point on Orange Team. I think they were just getting destroyed by that charger. That was a rough. Slappy was... They didn't even get all the turf up at their spawn point. That's how much they were taking over the middle area and just destroying. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We did have the level 7 on our team. I kind of figured they had zero <laughs> splats and eight, you know, eight bean splats, whatever you want to call that. De un splatted resplatted there's got to be a name for like when you get splatted you guys can help me come up with something for that but yeah that was uh n you know no offense to the the new player but you got to start somewhere you got to you got to learn how to play and try to compete against all these people that are so good that have been playing the game probably since it came out okay i know uh, i've seen more and more new players especially since we just uh we just had that black friday sale with the Wii U. I think they had it bundled with Splatoon and Smash. Tons of people picked that up, so I noticed a lot of people saying that they just started Splatoon, so... Alright. But yeah, the, uh... Roxy says I missed the Splatfest. The Splatfest hasn't happened yet. It's not starting until midnight here, so in a couple hours, and I'll be streaming that tomorrow as well, but... But yeah. So you didn't miss anything. Ooh, I gotta charge my game. Well, not charge, but... I, I don't have to. I should plug it in, though. I just pretty much leave my gamepad plugged in when I'm playing at all times, because it feels like, why not? I think that a lot of people have said that lowers the battery life of uh, things, though, if you're, like, charging it while you play it, but oh well, as long as it's close to where I'm at, I think I can just leave it charging. I know if I throw a sprinkler on one of these, you can get a lot of turf. Just let the sprinkler do its thing and, uh, and turn around all over the place. There we go. Already got a ton of this going. Ton of ink everywhere. Just gotta be careful. There we go, I got someone already. Where are you going, buddy? I just saw you there. Oh, they both splatted, I think. <laughs> We're back on uh, back on the museum here for another battle, but this will get me a little bit more used to using the end zap, which I have not tried out in a while. This is another one of those rapid shooters, kind of similar to uh, to maybe the Tentatex splatter shot or Ooh, look out. The, uh, there's a few other shooters that are similar to this because it's, it's rapid fire. But, uh, ooh, good coverage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Somebody... Oh, is that a caveman? Look at that picture. Is that... I think that's what they think of humans. That's the, uh, that's the image they have of little humans going around. Ooh, run, run, run. And turn around and, uh, look out. Get there. Oh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> got flanked. Two people coming after me at the same time. Could not get out of there. I 
keep getting teams that are getting pushed back into spawn and not having so much luck with uh, with getting a lot of turf in the center. All right, hopefully we'll, jeez, get him, get him, ah. Hopefully we'll do, I don't know what that player is doing. They're like running backwards when there's people right there. All right, I gotta focus on what I'm doing though. You can't always be uh, nitpicking your team and critical of what they're doing. If you play better, you'll probably, you know, be able to overcome the odds most of the time. Oh, I don't know about this one. We'll see. <laughs> Doing all right. Not too bad on this compared to that. I think that first match on Mahi was so rough because it seemed like they were just destroying there. Hurry, hurry, hurry before they... Oh, jeez. At least I launched it. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to... There we go. I think I got two people with my ink strike. Crazy. If you throw that out there, especially in the center, it does seem like it'll, uh, it'll work out for the best. Okay, go, go, go. Throw one of these on that. I need to like get my sprinkler onto their little area. This is not a good spot to be in because you get backed into a corner. Okay, let's throw a sprinkler onto one of these spots here. Ooh, there's someone right there. Can I get him in time? Yeah, I do have better range than the blasters. So you can outrange them a lot of the time. Ooh, this guy's got range on me. What is he using? The Splattershot Pro, yeah. I think that splats a few shots faster than the end zap. It just uses up so much ink, I think most people don't bother with it. Go, go, go! I don't think I can get enough ink here to uh, do too much in the last few seconds. Let's see if we can get some more in the middle, the ink striked right at the end to rub in that victory. Jeez. Alright. Uh, Jada says, Adam, is it worth buying a new Nintendo 3DS? If you already have a 3DS, I don't know necessarily. It is nice having that one. It does load games faster. There's a couple games that look better on it and uh, play better. I got that level 7 again, or it's a different level 7. <laughs> Keep running into level 7s. Uh, but yeah, I think it's worth it. Maybe if you already have one, hold off unless you really want the extra features, like using Amiibo and stuff like that. But but yeah, I think it's good. I don't know. I've got one that I play on occasionally now, and uh, I record on a normal 3DS. But yeah, the, the new one is pretty good. All right, so we're going to jump out of here. There's definitely enough games on it where if you don't have a 3DS at all, definitely go for it if you can. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Maybe we'll jump into ranked and try Mahi in ranked mode. What are we, I see Octobrush a few. Okay, let's switch to Octobrush. I think I'm gonna keep my ink saver. Well, the damage up is so useful on this though. I really need to level up my t-shirt and get some more abilities or we're gonna be in trouble here. All right, let's go into ranked. Ranked is not a good place to level up your Splatfest t-shirt, let me tell you. but I'm gonna do it. I just need to get it good before we can always level it during the splat fest but i'm just gonna try here and uh if the squid squad is on then uh hopefully we can get some blue troop matches as well to try out the new map all right so ranked mode most of the maps are different my charger just flew out it doesn't want to be charged uh but yeah in ranked mode maps are different like i mentioned the museum had that little step that helped you get up that isn't in turf wars so i want to see how mahi mahi is different and ranked as well. I'm not really even used to the map in normal mode. We're not having much luck getting it here, but I'm gonna try my best. We are playing Rainmaker, so I think I can do a little bit better with this Octo Brush than I usually do. Got a uh, got a nice sniper uh, charger combo helping us out here. All right, can I get up there and uh, take these guys out? I think they know I'm up here though. So I gotta be careful. Look out! There's a couple rollers going around. Trying to throw their bombs at me. I do have my Kraken. If I jump in here, here we go. All right, and I thought I saw someone else going, going after me, so I Krakened. Not the best use of a Kraken, but I'm gonna take it. All right, can we get over here? Take these guys out. There we go. There's someone jumping in. I'm ready for him. Throw him, throw him, throw him. Not throw him. <laughs> throw that ink, basically, is what I meant. All right, here they come. I'm gonna kind of hide back here a little bit until get the okay to jump in. All right, we're doing better in, than I was before with this. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. Man, having a rough time. There we go. This guy as well. All right, I should be making a path. He's already almost there, though. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a path going. Oh, no, I ran out of ink. Worst time to run out of ink. All right, I got a little bit here. No! Sorry, Rainmaker. I had to abandon it. A little bit. Oh man, they got hit by the, uh, somehow they got hit by that seeker out of nowhere, seemingly. Alright, go, go, go. Let's see if we can get back up there. Quick, 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 before they 
come after us. Are they going around the side? I'm gonna try. Oh, jeez. Go, go, go. This is so close. Can I get up there in time? Get him, get him. Get him for me. And then I'm jumping for it. Nope, that's the worst. Help me, guys. Help me. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay. Slam dunk. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> I was very, very uh, resistant to run in there, and it paid off to hold back a little bit. You really just want to, you know, make sure that you are uh, you're playing playing aggressively and pushing with the Rainmaker because you don't want to stand still too much. But if your team is not there, sometimes it is best to just hold on to it. Okay, good job to uh, <laughs> pat myself on the back, but my team did a good job, I think, and I got a rank uh, or not a rank up, a uh, a level up on my ability here, my gear. Run speed up, not too bad. Okay, let's do another one that worked out really well. I got a few splats, didn't get splatted. Did anyone have a suggestion on, I maybe there is a term already for when you get yourself splatted and uh, <laughs> when you get killed, basically. I, I try to stick with the like terms of the game, so I wanna say splat instead of kills or whatever it would be to get splatted. First time dunking, says Aang Jason. No, I've dunked a few times. I've dunked in my day. It's just really satisfying. I want to dunk more in the future. Okay, Ooh, we gotta look out for that charger. The splatter, or uh, splat charger scope. Splatter scope, that's what it's called. <laughs> Is uh, not anything to mess with. All right, can we get in here and do the damage? Get that down and then look out, because I know they're gonna be getting in here real quick. Okay, good, good, good. Look out for the charger. See him looking there for us. Jeez. <laughs> they are not going to let us uh, get in here and get that. Hello. I see you there. Look out for the charger. <laughs> I do have ink resistance on, right? Man, I'm running so slowly, even with ink resistance. Look out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're having a real rough time even getting anything going there. Try to build up a little bit of turf while we wait here to... Uh, Take these guys out. We lost the lead. Not good. Go in, go in, go in. There we go. Got one of them. And quickly before the charger gets me, cracking away. Take that out. Got the one. And can I zip away before the charger <laughs> takes me out? I can. Got to take these beacons out. I think they're really pushing, though, so I should be careful. There we go. All right, go, go, go. They lost it. Look out. This charger is not as... Uh, not as skilled as some, but I shouldn't shouldn't uh, taunt this little guy. There we go. Got one of those. I get the roller as well. Someone back here. I just saw. Get in there. You gotta you gotta really play to your own advantage, though. You don't wanna <laughs> push too much with the roller because that'll happen. Or the the octo brush. Sorry. It is kind of a roller, though. Okay. Jumping in. Hopefully this isn't a bad choice. Oh no. Oh, just barely. Missed uh, getting hit by that killer whale, I think. Look out. Ah, jeez. Got hit by the splat roller. They were pretty far away, and they still took me out. Okay. We do have a little bit of a lead on them. can do this. I got so caught up in Rainmaker, I didn't realize we still haven't tried the, the new map on this mode. I really want to get it here soon before... Well, even if the, the mode switches, we'll still not have to worry too much, because we'll have... We'll have a, uh, oh, jeez. No, that was real close. All right, I'm going to do this. And just jump right over into this Rainmaker. Can I get around the side? Look out. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this. Ah. <laughs> Somehow survived there. But, yeah, I definitely want to try out Mahi Mahi on Rainmaker. If we can, in the last few minutes here, we're running out of time. But we might be able to do it. Okay. This is good. This is good. Sort of. There we go. Got one of them. And then their chargers probably making their way downtown. Let's see. Go, 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 go. Okay. They're going that way. I'm going to try to take that guy out. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. And are they going up top? Probably. Oh, you going up top, buddy? Or no, you're around that way. Ah! <laughs> Took him out before the killer whale got me in the end. Okay. But yeah, we gotta hurry, or else we're not gonna be able to try Mahi on Rainmaker without going into private battle. But next up is Splat Zone, so that's a good one as well. Alright, go, 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 go. They're getting the lead back. Man, they're getting... It's that sprinkler. They're getting their, uh... They're getting their little, uh, ability built up there pretty quick. I can't jump this, I don't think. 
Alright, let's try to just go through and uh, stop this guy in his twacks. He's right there, though. There he is. Hello. Take him down. Alright, go, 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 go. Last little bit here. We can get this. We're fast. Go, go, go. As long as we keep the lead, we should be okay. Alright, here they come. This is this is our base, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> running out of uh running out of space there. Stopping them. Okay, they're gonna try to get through with that charger. Get him, get him, get him! Get this guy! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> I keep getting pinned down by their other players, and then the killer whale takes me out because I can't get out of the way in time. Alright, that's a risky super jump. Not going for it. This match feels like it's going for a while, but it's the normal time. I just am like, I really want to get on Mahi in the last few seconds here if I can. Get this guy out of here! Nope. <laughs> well, I did. Okay, good. <laughs> left, him with a, <laughs> left him with a splat in the end. I think we are. Are we using the samurai? I was gonna say that's really useful to have a little bit of damage up on the uh, the octa brush, so it can be good to uh, make sure you're doing that. All right, I'm gonna hide back here, and then oh, nope. I guess I didn't need to. They took him out. Okay, as long as we can hold on to this rainmaker for the last few seconds, we should be good. Help me out, guys. Oh, someone else is doing it. <laughs> I thought I had it. There we go. Take out the one. <laughs> and just get destroyed, but I stopped him, I slowed him down, and, ooh, there we go, alright, quick, 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 I don't have time to change weapons, guys, I gotta jump into a match, or else we don't have any chance of getting Mahi for this mode, so, we'll do it, and stick with the Octobrush for one more, we have enough time, I wanna try to do ranked, because we do have a lot of Turf Wars ahead of us in the Splatfest, 14 splats, nice, noise, that's the Splatoon way of saying it, noise, the amiibos. All right, got to throw an O in there. Let me see here. So, uh, does he even read our comments, Paul Park? Yeah, I do read the comments. I just have to check them between lives and between matches, mostly. Can we get a full team? We do have, like, a minute until the stuff switches over. But if you get a game going, they won't kick you out when the maps switch over. You just have to have a full team. Okay, cross your fingers, guys. If it's not Mahi, that's okay. I can still, you know, jump into private with a bunch of you. And try it that way. All right. <laughs> well, I tried. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, play it in splat zones at least, because the maps will switch over here. They are doing that as we speak. Let's see if we can get one more win. If I get another win, we can uh, we can actually rank up, which I haven't done in a little while. I keep ranking down occasionally. Going up against these, I, it's a lot of the squad battles typically, because if you go up against those S ranked teams. I knew that was going to happen. I thought my team would push in with me, but didn't work out. We got it still. Go, go, go. There we go. That's what matters is getting it once uh, once everyone's already taken down once. Okay, look out. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, trying to do squad battles, you often go up against teams that are higher ranked than you, so uh, it can be a little tough to, to stop from ranking down. All right, I'm playing the... Uh, the silly little squid hiding around game here, where I try to <laughs> get them when they go back and uh, sneak attack them. Alright, you kind of have to do that though with your with your brushes, is play a little stealthy, otherwise you're not going to be able to take people out in time to get that splat. Alright, we got someone there. Let's jump on here. Oh! <laughs> a little too aggressive. I should have waited around the side maybe until they pushed in and then I could sneak attack them. They might get this. There's still no time to uh, get into another match, but... Alright, look out, guys. If they try to pull way in here, take them out. Get them, get them, get them! Nope! No, no, no! <laughs> here we go. Ah! It's right there. Right for them to pluck it and end this early, and they're gonna do it. Jeez. That was rough. Alright, so let's... You know, we have to switch modes. We don't have a choice. <laughs> it's gonna bump us out. But let's switch weapons, because... I, uh, I did a little bit with the Octo Brush, doing okay. I think with the Splatfest T-shirt, can't get as much damage as I want with the brush, because I'm only running the one damage up. All right, yeah, they were all they were all A with one B, and we were all B with one A. But sometimes that happens. Okay, so let's jump out of here. Well, we're gonna get kicked. We got a breaking news broadcast. <laughs> that always happens. Okay, and I think the uh, the maps are it's Bluefin and I'm going to look like I'm psychic here. Bluefin and Mahi for Turf Wars, 
and then Walleye and Mahi for Splat Zones, which I like, uh, wall what is it, Walleye Warehouse for Splat Zones a lot. It's a good map for that. Alright, let's unveil the stages, unveil, <laughs> rather. Uh, the water level can change, or level changes. This must be a tide pool. Pretty sure it's just machinery, Callie. She's just, uh, insulting her intelligence. Callie's just all about imagining cool things. The world's a little more magical in her mind. And then, uh, didn't we model swimwear here once? Shh, we don't want people to go looking for the pics. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's a little strange. I, I think, uh, it's weird having the Inklings be into, like, bathing suits and stuff at all, because they're not really able to go in water, but maybe they just like to get a tan. Okay, so what are we switching? We got the, uh, couple heavy splatlings. That actually sounds good for turf war. Let's do the heavy splatling. The deco one I do like a lot. Yeah, there it is. And then I'll switch to get some ink. Ink saver main. That looks good. All right. Going with that, and then I see slosher, carbon roller. A lot of good suggestions. Let's, uh, oops. Jump into the lobby and jump into splat zones here. Hopefully we'll get Mahi in this one. Oh, we could do a squad. Let me see if anyone's on. If it doesn't seem like there's many people on, we'll go back to normal ranked, but but yeah. Let's see how many bloop troopers are hanging out. I almost got up to A minus rank, but I got knocked back down from that last team. Hopefully we'll do a little better with our bloop troop here. Alright, well in the meantime, oh, there we go, we got Emily. A rank. In the meantime, I did want to apologize. I kind of took a little break this week. You noticed I was doing a lot of streams and uh, <laughs> took a little break to kind of figure stuff out a little bit. I don't, you know, usually air any dirty laundry, but I kind I kind of got a little stressed with uh, with trying to get stuff done and keeping up with everything. There's just always so many different series that I want to do, but there's only so much time in the day. And I've been working on. If you follow, you know, my Minecraft videos. I've been working on the past month of uh, snapshots trying to catch up. There's just a lot to the the updates that we've had, so I've been trying to finish that. That should be done soon. But it's a little paralyzing when you know you got one thing people are waiting for, but you really just want to get out there and splat or do something else that's a little more relaxing. But I think I'm, uh, I'm good to go and get back into stuff after a little bit of a break. So thank you guys for being patient. Some of you might not even notice that I took a break, but that's okay. That's what I'd rather. I don't want yeah anyone worrying or or anything, but I thank you guys for your patience. We definitely have a, uh, a big weekend here. I, w I got a, little, a few other things that I want to get done, but also the big Splatfest tomorrow that I mentioned, and I'm rooting for Team Burger now. I've picked my side, I've drawn that line in the ink, and uh, I don't want anyone, you know, I no offense to Team Pizza. I could have just, just as easily been a pizza, pizza pal or whatever you want to call him, but <laughs> went with burgers in the end. We'll see. Will the popular team won? or win, or will the, uh, the other, <laughs> the, the less popular team. I didn't have a good name for it. All right, Pokemat, the boss, says this is their first stream. Welcome, buddy. Hope you will, uh, be here for many more if you enjoy it. All right. Yeah, I, I noticed in the chat, please play Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of series that I want to get back to, and it's really rough when I'm, like, trying to keep up with the current stuff, but also want to get back to, to other things. So I didn't want to complain or anything. I'm very happy that I can take the time, you know, to stress about silly stuff like making video game videos, so I appreciate that. Thank you guys for supporting me <laughs> by watching and, and hanging out. But yeah, I think that uh, sometimes it's rough when I, uh, I feel like I've got to prioritize some stuff over others and trying to play something that is fun over something that I feel like I should do is what I would like to do most of the time. Anyways, games are for fun. <laughs> that's uh, that's hopefully the motto to stick with for most people. All right, a couple people with their first stream. Alonzo, nice. I'm glad to see. Hopefully you guys are, you know, noticing it on YouTube Gaming or whatever, or maybe just found it randomly. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of people saying, "Good luck, Burger King <laughs> splat." Fa Burger King versus Pizza Hut. I got. I I can't remember if those are owned by the same company. Okay, we're going into Walleye here. We will get Mahi, I promise. We did get one of the best songs, though, even if we didn't get the new map. Alright, let's stake our turf and uh, get this going to, hopefully, I didn't see if they had any chargers. I gotta try to watch the middle, but I think I just saw someone going around there. I'm, I'm focusing on too many different sides. I'm gonna have a rough time here. If I'm not careful, they're gonna shoot up onto my spot. 
If I don't get him out of here, I gotta I gotta warm up with this splatling. Ooh, or else I'm gonna have a rough time. Ah, almost cracking. I tapped it at the last time, or the last uh second before I died, but it didn't go through. Go go go! Yeah, they're gonna. <laughs> While I'm getting used to playing the splatling again, they're gonna take us down if I'm not careful. Okay, good good good. Go purple team. This is good. We got the green for the uh, Splatfest here, but not the not the the orange that we're gonna have. Green and orange, you don't usually see those two colors against each other, right? Are those actually gonna be the ink colors? Usually it's green and blue, and, uh, or not green and, uh, orange and blue, and green and like pink or purple are the more contrasting colors. So it's kind of strange, but we'll see. I like when the Splatfests have unique ink colors, though. It is really cool. There's a dynamo. There we go. Got enough shots on them there to get that splat. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. All right, now we're bringing it back. We had a we had a rough time there for a little bit. Try to watch the sides, though. Just like Operation. If you're not watching the sides, you might uh, you might lose. Go, 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 go. There's dynamos everywhere. Don't want to all bunch up. That's always a bad thing to do because, you know, stuff like that can happen that ink strike going. Somebody's going to sneak behind me, I'm thinking, if I'm not careful here. Nope. All right. We're good. We're good. Look out, though. Got to be careful over here. I know someone was just making their way around. All right. Almost got my Kraken. That's what I want. Get that zone going, and then jump in. Hello, Dynamo. Can I get you in time? Almost. <laughs> oh, back it up. <laughs> Jeez, they saved my bacon there. That's another good Splatfest. Would bacon versus what would be a good uh, bacon is kind of tough to compete with. I'm trying to think of other foods. They tend to do the food Splatfest most of the time, so I don't know if there's any piece of food for most people that can compete with uh, with bacon. But I like bacon. I don't think it's as big a deal as most people make out on the internet. But <laughs> I think it's become one of those things where people talk about bacon being so good that it gets a lot of uh, flack for not living up to all that hype. All right, just like a popular game sometimes. There we go, that's good. I like ink recovery, so that will, that'll that help out. I like when I get good abilities on my uh, on my Splatfest t-shirt, because otherwise if you're stuck with ones that aren't really gonna help you, you can't do anything about it unless you're gonna waste 30,000 G or the uh, Super Sea Snails to re-roll it. And for a temporary t-shirt, it seems like it's not that great. Okay. What are we going to use? Carbon Roller Deco. That actually sounds really good because of the ink or the uh, the Seeker Bomb Rush. Let's do that. I'm going for it. And we did rank up. We're in A minus now. I completely uh, completely <laughs> missed that for a second. All right. But we are back in A minus. Ooh, Sky's in here. Look at all these rollers. Three different or two. Yeah, technically Sky's using a Carbon Roller as well. Uh, now we're putting ourselves out there to have an S rank team jump in and destroy us. Caesar says bacon versus sausage. I don't know if enough people like sausage to... to ooh, bacon versus donuts, says Eli. That would be good. I, I kind of would go with donuts, I think, but bacon is good as well. Breakfast food battle. That would be great. Let's see if that happens in the future. But yeah, I could see the bacon t-shirt already with the weird little cartoon squiggly bacon strips. That would be another Splatfest just with bacon crispy versus, you know, squiggly, <laughs> whatever you want to call the fatty bacon versus crispy bacon. Okay, Tentatech, Joseph says, let me see, use ice cream, says Delcatty Girl. I don't, there's not an ice cream weapon, but I'll do my best here. All right, so we got an s rank team, as I was expecting. If you have an s rank player on your squad, you're probably going to get thrown in the pool to fight s rank. Oh, okay, we did get Mahi. I almost forgot about the new map. So here we go. Try to keep an eye out on, you know, while I'm playing around here, if you can catch. There are some new brand logos that'll probably be, you know, gear that we get in the future. Stuff like that. Jeez, what am I doing? All right, jump in there. Try to look out, because these guys are going to do a bang-up job of uh, destroying us, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. Yep, they got a... They got a... Uh, they got the... Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I need to get really close to use this uh, carbon roller and get that splat, but I don't know if that's going to happen because uh, they have a really good charger, like most most uh, teams that are really good at uh, at doing their uh, ranked mode. Is someone down there? 
with that charger just destroying. Okay, the water level's dropping. Should maybe be a little bit easier to uh, get through here. All right, Seeker Bomb Rush. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, jeez. Uh, I took at least one out, and we got some of the zone because of it. But at the same time, any any map that uh, has that big open area, this is going to be another Charger's Paradise, I'm guessing, where the Chargers will do really well, and it'll be very tough to get in. Okay, I was trying to do this and actually land on here where it's protected. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> and not fall off. I think if we're going to fight Chargers, I need a weapon with a bit more range than this, or else I'm just going to get destroyed, as is happening here. Last few seconds, probably can't do anything. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> do they only have one Charger? Because it felt like they had more than that. Look at all this line, <laughs> so you can see where the Chargers are just getting through there. All right. We'll try again here. Hopefully not against an S-Rank team. We did have one... Sky is the... Was that the S-Ranker using her charger? But yeah, we had only, only, oh, two. Okay, they did have two, but the Star Momo was destroying. Didn't get splatted at all, but that's what you expect from a level 50. Okay, I, uh, Isaiah says, burgers are going to lose. They have more popular because of me. No, I don't think, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. I picked my team pretty late. I think most people have probably already picked their team at this point. All right, let's try another quad squad here. I appreciate the uh, the people that work their way up to S rank, but at the same time, it's so tough to uh, to play against. If we had like a full S rank team, I think we could do it, but we're always at a disadvantage against the S rankers. I did see uh, Tentatec. Let's do that, because then if I get my Ink Zuka, maybe I can take out a Charger. That was just a really tough situation to use the Carbon Roller. I know I'm not great with it either way, but <laughs> in my defense. You gotta get close to, to get those splats with the carbon roller in place stealthy, but I felt like uh, they were just on top of me. No matter what I was doing, the chargers spotted me. I need to get more used to this map as well before we uh, can actually do pretty well here. But hopefully hopefully we'll have a lot of it with the splat fest. If we don't get the museum and Mahi Mahi, it'll be kind of strange because they're both pretty new maps. But uh, but I'll be uh, at least Mahi Mahi in the Splatfest would be nice. But they've done that before, where a new map came out and then we didn't get to use it for the Splatfest for some reason. They just decided that it wouldn't work. Or I think the Japanese Splatfest had it, and then they like to do different maps for all the different Splatfests. But this is the North American one is the only one this weekend. So hopefully we will do a little uh, do a little better map wise and get those new ones. Okay, let's get in here. And try to jump. To a good spot quickly before they all rush in and uh, take it down. All right, trying to find my little vantage points here. There's a charger. Ooh, somebody else got him. I didn't have to do anything there. Oh, good job, guys. All right, they have three S rank players, but it doesn't mean they're necessarily gonna win here. Well, they can sneak around that way, can't they? They're probably gonna do so. There's a nice little, uh, nice little thing here to, uh, to hide behind. Okay, they're all going around. Throw one of these up. Jeez. They're in here. They're in here. And they've got a charger coming through, I'm sure. Ooh, so oh! <laughs> a little too fast. I do have a little bit of swim speed up, but I didn't think I was going to fall off of there. Uh, I hope I didn't blow it for the team, because we had a good lead, and then losing a player like that is never good. Okay, let's see if I can get back over in time. Or if I get charged here. I have a tough time. Get the one, and then look out. Okay, Inkzuka. Inkzuka. If I can take these guys out, that would be great. If I can get their, uh, get their <laughs> little, uh, whatchamacallit out of the way as well, that would be awesome too. Just saw someone go back here. Where did they go? Alright, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we can hold this. We can do this, Bloop Troop. I know we've got less ranked players on our side, but there's someone right there. Alright, good, good, good. <laughs> I like this box. This is my friend, this little box here. Is keeping me alive. And then we've got... Oh, there we go. All right, now we got so much turf that we can ink to uh, build up our special. So let's try to make good use of that. Oh, they got a bubbler. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, someone else got him, I think. Luckily there. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, this, I forgot that halfway through it's like, oh, the whole terrain changes. You got more room to hide, more room to uh, get kraken if we can stop this guy. No! <laughs> uh, that's, the, that's the thing I really got to get used to with this map. Do not back up so much because 
you are gonna fall in the water. I'm gonna fall in the water, and I've done it twice so far. Okay, let me see if I can slow these guys down at all before they get their lead back again. Throw these in there and uh, hopefully get lucky. Here we go. Okay, I got my Inksuka. I think I can take some guys out here. Over that, over there. There we go. At least putting the fear of the Kraken in them. Well, not the Kraken, but I was gonna say put the fear of God. What What is their Father Squidmas? I can't remember what other things they've talked about that might be uh, the deities. Ah, thought I had them. Good Octobrush play there from Satch. They've got the, the damage up as well, which is pretty key to doing a good job in uh, in this, or with the Octobrush in any mode. I was going to say in this mode, but, ooh. Okay, come on, we can do this. I'm trying to make sure that they don't sneak around us again, because that was brutal, getting that, <laughs> that Octobrush in our face. Go, go, go. I want to see suggestions for, like, what the, what the, uh, the, the Inklings would worship if they had to pick a, like, deity. I don't know if we're gonna find that out ever, but... Ooh. Oh, hello. Not enough, Satch. Or whoever that was. Turned into a Kraken. Good job, guys. Man, the Bloop Troop really pulled through against the odds. Look at this pool. It's crazy. It's a giant little squid there. Giant little squid. Nice oxymoron. But yeah, the, the whole area around this, I mentioned, I don't want to get distracted from looking in the background too much, but I'd love to, to go check it out, maybe in recon mode here pretty soon, because there is some really cool stuff. Let's do that real quick. I don't want to forget. A lot of the time, I will say something like that, and then I forget to do it. So I'm going to jump out. Hold on, Bloop Troop. A brief recess. I'm going to uh, go in here, and we will we will look around on this map real quick. There we go. So in spectating mode, you can just hit Y, or recon is what it's called. And then you can kind of go around here. I love all the little, like, inflatable things. I think this is kind of based off of, like, a ninja warrior or wipeout type of thing here. And we got some, uh, some good good little background decorations. I don't know if we can spot it, but when, uh, when the map details of this kind of leaked out, a lot of people mentioned that there was jellyfish stuff, like jellyfish in, in swimsuits and jellyfish in, uh, like a wedding gown. And if I can find the wedding, I think it's off to the side here somewhere. If we can find it, it's like over on like a weird pavilion in the background. I want to go over to the spawn area because I think there's some cool stuff back there as well. But yeah, look at the, there's cool, uh, branding up there at the top. You can see it's Sheldon's little like logo, but with some more eels. I think he, he sponsored this or something. Oh, that's a weird wall that you can kind of pass through. There's a little, oh, there's no jellyfish right now. I want, oh, there's one. Okay. He's, he fell out. <laughs> Is that guy okay? He's, uh, he fell out of his chair or something there. He looks a little, a little dead. I think he's all right. The, I don't know if the, the jellyfish can survive and, uh, and come back to life quite like the Inklings can. I think that might be the wedding over there. Let me see. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of little fun Easter eggs in this map for sure. Let me jump over onto these. Yeah, some of this, this is some precise jumping. This is where your single player skills will come into hand, in, uh, in handy here. All right, yeah, I can't find it. Hmm. I know somewhere in the background though, there's two little jellyfish getting married and it's beautiful and I approve of it. All right, but yeah, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of cool little details that I like. And I know people mentioned there's some brands like, isn't that a, that's a new logo, right? It looks like an Octorok or something. Are we going to get like a cool Octorok gear? That looks like a, what is that one laptop brand? That's cool as well. There's a bunch of a bunch of little brand. There's the Illuminati squid, and that's like that might be crack on, but it doesn't look quite like it. There's a lot of uh, hints that I think we're getting uh, some new gear and some uh, some new content coming that they have not discussed. I have a feeling they're holding off on a lot of stuff for the 3.0 update. All right, so I can't find the wedding unless someone has a good idea of where it is, but we can jump out of here. We don't have to spend the whole time looking around this map. I just figure you guys might want a better look at it. All right, so let's hop out, actually get into a match. <laughs> but somewhere in the background, there is a gazebo with beautiful jellyfish matrimony happening. Okay, let me uh, let me switch weapons here. I did okay with the tent attack. I do like using that. What would be a good, we need something with a decent amount of range if we're on Mahi for, uh, let's, let's do, I did the other splatling. Let's do the, the Hydra, because I had seen a few people say that they wanted to see the Hydra as well. So we'll do that real quick. Illuminati squid. Everyone's 
looking at the logos now. But yeah, the the little brand there's at least I think at least like five or something brand icons that usually you see for the gear like Crack On and Tent Attack and stuff like that that don't have any pieces of gear. So we did get a few. I think they threw us a few pieces of gear in the last like there's like 40 in the last update, so more than a few. But at the same time, I have a feeling when the Octolines arrive, they're gonna bring a flood of merchandise down upon us to get out of those shops. Alright, so we got Emily, uh, Snowshoe, I like how he spelled shoe there, and Inkling, all A ranks, so we should have a good A rank opponent here, unless it's uh, somehow just going to be an S rank. Sometimes you can't find another team and they just throw whoever is around to fight you, but at the same time I'm hoping we get an even match here as well. I do like, uh, I mentioned Walleyes, the other, that was the other one we did on here. And I, hopefully, Mahi will end up being one of those good maps as well for all the modes. But Walleye, I, I feel like, has a nice balance to it. It's one of the first maps and just has, I don't know, it, it's one of my favorites for Splat Zones, I think, too. Because it has the ability to use Seekers and have them actually work on there and not, <laughs> not get stuck on, on different stuff. Okay, so here we go. I think we're going up against an A-ranked team. Back on Mahi. This is just really, it's funny that we're in the middle of, uh, we're getting into winter. And this is such a uh, such a summer map, but it is cool that uh, that we've got so many different designs. This is probably the brightest and like most cheerful map that we've gotten so far. And I am happy that we've got some some different types of uh, different types of uh, turfing and you know different ways to build up the uh, turf. Ooh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get splatted. That's all. all right, I'm gonna try to stay back enough. If they don't have a charger, I might be able to take them out back here, since I've got such a long range going. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> that was rough. Alright, get this charged up. Quick, quick, quick. Got little squid kids all jumping in there. They don't want to They don't want to get too close to me. They know I got the power of the Hydra. Okay, everyone's jumping. Go, go, go. Keep this turf going. I just saw someone going that way. Let's track them. Let's keep them where we want them here. Alright, go, go. Oh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> That roller, <laughs> they sacrificed themselves to take me down. The bike helmet samurai armor combo is pretty cool and weird looking. All right, let's get back in quick, quick, quick. Hopefully we can, ooh, yeah, they're, they're pushing in trying to use some beacons on us to keep this area locked down, but I can uh, I can play doity here too. I'm gonna jump in, try to take down anyone pushing into the center. This, yeah, the kind of like a charger, the, uh, the Splatling has such a uh, powerful like presence when you're uh, ooh, <laughs> backing into the water. When you're just kind of mowing down with a fully charged Splatling Blast, especially the Hydra, it kind of sends a message or puts the fear of whoever into them. Still haven't decided that inkling deity. Okay, go, 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 go. I need to be careful, not back up too far. That was my mistake before. All right, let's see if we can stop these guys. There we go. And I've almost got my echolocator again, which is good. The the good thing about the Splatfest t-shirt, I don't usually use Special Saver, but because of uh, of the Splatfest, having it is a little a little helpful. Here we go. Oh no! Let me stop them in time. They're bubble. They're bubble. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I got them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was like, okay, a quick charge. Maybe I can get them as soon as their bubble is over. I'm probably not going to survive, but I'll take them down with me. But yeah, the, uh, the special saver is nice to have, even though I don't usually use it. Because then you're not just completely wasting your, uh, your special when you die. Oh, jeez. They are really pushing in here. Making it tough on us. They're gonna get us if I'm not careful. Jeez. Yeah, they took the, they took the middle. Oh, they lost control. Okay. They were really pushing in, though. Let me go over here. This would be better. I can jump through. They lost, or we lost the lead. No, no, no. Don't want that. Go, go, go. Someone right there. And we slow him down. The full charge. Oh, not a full charge. Go, go, go. Look out. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> it's so intense when it, someone's just like pushing in on you. You gotta, you gotta take him down or else they're just gonna get you with this. If you don't get him with that first charge, there's not a big chance of uh, being able to take him out otherwise. Okay. They're just really, really getting locked down like we were before. I think we can bring this back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
Get my ink going. Take out these rollers. Alright, we're good, we're good. I think we got this. Go bloop troop. Look out! <laughs> Jeez. I think we got this. Oops. Bubbled, and now they're gonna take out the super jumper. I was supposed to, uh... Supposed to be holding down the fort there while they jumped in. No, no, no! <laughs> I was thinking we would make it and get this one. Okay, good. Our team is fighting. They're not gonna go down without a fight. Jumping in. Alright, here we go. The bubbler, I, I've noticed more and more the bubbler is like the thing that I have the most trouble with a lot of the time. It's just really tough to compete with somebody you can't splat at all when they're, <laughs> they're shooting back at you full force. Alright, let's look out now. Don't want to play too crazy. Almost got my, uh, almost got my full charge here. Here we go. Almost. Yeah, someone else got him. You're good. <laughs> it turned into bugs for a second. Eh. Someone else got him. Go, go, go. I meant to say, ah, someone else got him. Like, good, good. All right, here comes someone. Try to spike him with a, uh, not spike him. <laughs> like a volleyball. Spike it down into their turf and slow him from getting too close. Go, go, go. Here comes a roller. Oh, they're cracking in, but it's not enough to stop the bloop troop. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay, should we switch into turf wars for a little bit and just see the map again for that? mode, because we did do a lot of ranked already. Look at those shoes! Inkling's got most of the power armor on, but not the helmet. It looks crazy. Emily going even with her splats and being splatted. Gotta come up with a good term for that. That's my new new goal here for Splatoon. Not to get into S rank, but to come up with a term for being splatted. Alright. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna switch into Turf Wars a little bit. Then I can actually have more people join as well, because you can have more than four people playing turf wars if a bunch of people jump in. We could actually, let's let's do at least one private battle. We'll just try out tower control in this mode since we haven't seen that yet. We saw, oh, we didn't see Rainmaker either. Let's, let's do tower control and then Rainmaker in the new map. Because I know a lot of you guys probably want to see the different modes on Mahi. There's so many maps now, it's crazy how many we've got. Yeah, Zach just said private. That's what we're doing. Six shoes, bro, <laughs> says Jazz Cat. Yeah, I like the the big power shoes. They are really, they kind of seem like, uh, if we have huge shoes like that, we might as well have like flippers for swimming. Like, uh, how funny would it be to see someone trying to waddle around in a uh, Splatoon battle with like big old diving flippers <laughs> on their feet? But uh, the power armor of the shoes are big enough where I think they could pull off flippers. All right, let me see. We got Fun Panda. Good first edition, of course. Bring in the fun. The rare giant bear. Inkling. Okay, good, good. Filling up really fast. Simo! I just watched an episode of Adventure Time that aired, uh, I think, last night. But it had... It didn't... I think Simo popped up, but it was mainly about Bimo and the other Moes. All right. Adventure Time stuff. Yeah, I did mention Adventure Time. <laughs> I want to make sure I didn't sound like a crazy person and I said what I was talking about. All right, and I'm going to switch weapons... Let me see, what was suggested? I'm trying to remember. Squid loafers, says Julie. Yeah, there are the like loafers that are, what are we, we're on tower control. So I need something that can get onto the tower and do okay. Hmm, let me look for some suggestion. How about the sloshing machine again? Cause I did mention it is more of a ranked weapon and I saw some people wanting to see it again. It is the newest weapon. So we'll do that. And then I will, uh, I'll keep checking the chat of course for weapon suggestions. I do appreciate you guys keep using that. Use the end zap, says Hamilton, with bomb range up. I know that bomb range is crazy. I saw someone uh, posted a video not too long ago to the Splatoon subreddit, and it had bomb rush. Uh, if you have full bomb rush, that's three main abilities and nine sub abilities, you can actually throw a bomb faster, or uh, farther, than the splat chargers will... Uh, will actually be able to reach, so you can like out, outrange someone who has a, uh, a charger by doing that. All right, so the tower, one thing to note in this mode here with tower control, you don't actually have to worry about the water levels. All right, we need to get up there. It's gonna be rough to uh, get used to how this works. Stop them, no! Oh, the tower like goes around. It, it's taken the, uh, taken the long route to get through there. And we also have the short tower, so it doesn't have that tall bottom that uh, is easier to jump on. So this is gonna be a rough map for tower control. You gotta, you gotta get on this tiny tower and 
try to make your way to the uh, to the top. And then also, you got people all over the place. At least you don't have to worry about the turf levels. All right. While someone's messing with the tower, I'm going to go crazy with my bombs. Hopefully we'll get... There we go. We got someone. Oh, they have a charger. They know my weakness. Get them. There we go. <laughs> that really satisfying explosion sound. Can we stop them here? Stop them in time. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. But I can hit this other blaster <laughs> if I'm quick. Uh, I do like the range on the sloshing machine. Ah, <laughs> so focused on the tower that Riptide snuck around. But yeah, the, the sloshing machine, like the blaster, has that really, fu and the charger has that really fulfilling sound effect when you hit someone dead on. You know you done good. We got some more of the charger going through here. Speaking of which, ooh, jeez. Oh, oh no, there's a char <laughs> there's a tower right there. <laughs> I was so focused on everyone in the center, I didn't even see the tower. They gotta be close to the goal by now, right? Where is it? It's coming up. I can tell. Yeah, it's right there. Alright, let's see if we can uh, stop these kids. These squid kids from getting through. Oh, someone's jumping to me! That's not a good spot to jump! Sorry, buddy. Tried my best there. And there we go. Oh, jeez, running out of ink! No, no, no! No, no, no! Ah! <laughs> good job to Orange Team. They really pushed it through. The blue and orange combo, I know that's like the, kind of the mascot of the game in terms of colors. It's like a dark blue and orange on the box art. But I think the light blue and orange, that really feels like the right color pairing for this map. Ooh, they had an S ranker. Foxy the P. Good job, guys. We couldn't hold out. But we did pretty well. Even You know, we got a lower, there's somebody on here who's level 25. I don't want to call them out. But they did a really good job holding their own despite everything. Okay, one more private match real quick, and we will uh, try out Rainmaker on the new map. There we go. Since I want to make sure we see all three mo or all four modes on this one. What are we going to use? So we got to we got to have something that has a little bit of range hopefully or maybe I got to sneak around if we're going to play a short range weapon. But the Rainmaker Rainmaker is going to make it a little tough to get close. So hopefully heavy splatling we did just use the heavy spat splatling deco, so. Uh, what else? Luna Blaster. That's pretty short range, but we could do a blaster if you want. What else we got? If, let me see here. Roller. We did use the splat roller a little bit ago. Slosher. We could do the normal slosher. I wouldn't mind doing that. It's pretty good on in Rainmaker, because you can take down the shield. Let's do the slosher. That sounds good. We almost have a full team here. Everyone's jumping back in. I feel bad kicking everyone out after each match, but I want to make sure if someone is trying to get in, they have a shot. There we go. I don't think that Ninja Kid was in the last match, so maybe that is a new person. And we will switch here. Everyone knows what I'm using now. I do like the Deco, because this is uh, another new weapon. The Slosher Deco has the Kraken and Splash Wall, so hopefully this will help. All right. Ink Brush. We could do the Ink Brush, too, as well. A lot of the really good Turf Wars weapons will get a lot of mileage here within the next 24 hours when we have our Splatfest stream, so don't worry about that. I'll get to the, <laughs> definitely get to the ink brush and the Octo brush. All right, so here's Rainmaker, the last mode. Look at the little stacks of boxes in the center that they're uh, hiding, hiding that Rainmaker between. Got another, got another good Octo brush player in the midst as well. All right, let me see if I can kind of build up a little bit of inkage and make it easy for my buddies to get over these walls. I love the little in inflatable floaty things too. Gotta love those. Alright, I'm gonna try to sneak over here and uh, if we can stop these guys. There's someone going around, or at least I thought they were. Oh, look out! Get him, get him, get him! <laughs> a little bit too far back for me to, uh, to hit, but maybe I can build this up and block them from getting through too far. Okay, go, 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 go. Somebody's got to take it. I'll just, uh, I'll make a shield for you. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I can stop someone one way or the other. Oh, this, this map, at least, the, uh, the water level mechanic does come into play, it looks like. It seems like they didn't, with the tower and everything, they were like, we're not going to, we're not going to mess with that water level thing. Whoa, there goes a brush. Straight into the drink. But yeah, the, the water level thing is what's so unique about this new map, is that we have the different water levels to deal with as the map progresses, or the match progresses. Look out! Someone... Oh! 
I was like, someone on their squad's definitely going after that Rainmaker. I saw some ink. But yeah, they have kept it in most of the modes, it looks like. Or no, Splat Zones doesn't have it either. So it's just Turf Wars and Rainmaker that have the uh, the different ink level stuff going on. I'm trying to get a little bit more going here. I know I'm not close to my team helping them fight this thing. I'm trying my best to uh, get my ink levels up. Oh, jeez. I had it, and then I got Kraken. But we have Ink Saber main on my shirt, so don't worry about that. All right. Go, go, go. Let's see if we can get back in in time. I need to need to super jump more, I think, but I always... It feels like such a waste when you jump in. <laughs> I was going to get killer whaled there, it looked like anyways. It feels like a waste if you jump in and then everyone gets splatted anyways, so I'm going to try not to super jump too often. Oh, here they come. Okay, good. Slow them down, a little bit at least. Got bombs everywhere. Somebody's using those splat bombs really effectively. All right, stop the Kraken! Here they come, here they come. Okay, this is it. There we go. <laughs> Time to push in here. If we can. They're all going to be going through, trying to get that Rainmaker for the last push. But if we can hold out and uh, keep them... Ah, oh, I ran out of ink. <laughs> the splash wall is such an ink guzzler. Got to make sure I'm not using it too often. I, I feel like wherever the Rainmaker is like standing or the path that they're trying to take, I want to throw it down to uh, stop them from getting in too close. But at the same time, I'm going to lose a lot of my good, good uh, ink by going after it like that. Okay, go, go, go. i to keep my ink, ink levels up here. I guess they're going to let me take it. Can I grab it? We'll go for it. All right, go, 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 go. Try to go up that side. I don't even know where the goal is, but I'm jumping over here. Going around the long ways. Alright, here we go. They're all going one way. I'm going to try to get through here in time. They're going to chase me. Go, go, go! <laughs> got it right up to the goal, though. I don't know if they were just letting me or they got all... They got splatted, I think. But we got it real close there. Careful about... Oh, they're going. They're taking it up to their base to, uh... Just to keep it at spawn for safe keepings. That's not a good strat though, you gotta push in if we've got it that far. Oh, if they jump off the side though, it'll reset to the middle, so might be a little easier to uh, to get there. Got my Kraken finally. Will I die before I can use it? Most likely. Find out at 11. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, where is the Rainmaker? They've got it, or, okay, they lost it. We got it now. Let's just cracking our way over. I put a little bit of fear into them. Oh, they're all, they're all gone anyways. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Someone grab that Rainmaker. Oh, <laughs> the worst. <laughs> That's only like the third or fourth time I've died in the water, right? Sometimes that happens, but I gotta make sure that's not habit forming. Okay, go, go, go. All right, this is a good time to throw a splash wall down if they're really pushing in here. Put it right where the, uh, put it right where the, uh, Rainmaker is though. Ooh, back it up. Slow these guys down a little bit at least. Go. Ah, my splash wall. Splash wall is uh gonna get me in the end here if I'm using it too much. Okay, good, good, good. Get that shield going. <laughs> I think uh, Simo just wanted one, one good crack at splat on me. I think blue team's gonna win. All right, good job. My push helped us, even if I didn't get that slam dunk. All right, so what should we finish up? Maybe one more squad battle or something? We've been going for a little bit, and I do plan on streaming a big chunk of Splatoon soon and getting back to some other games. So for the Splatfest, we will have, until I get King Rank, of course. That's how we do it every time. I only got one Splat that whole time. Maybe the Slosher's not my weapon. But yeah, the, uh, <laughs> Fool, you fell into the water, said Shy Mike. Yep, that happens. Uh, we'll learn the new map gradually as it pops up over and over again in the, in the coming days. All right, let's do a squad battle to finish up. I've got my, my t-shirt leveled up most of the way, but it's a good head start for the Splatfest. And we will stream, of course, the uh, the whole shebang. I'll start at fan, I think it's fan, like a hamburger fan rank, and we'll become hamburger kings by the end of the stream. Kiki found the wedding, thank you, Kiki. I know there's screenshots of all over. It's on the western part of the map's background, says Julie. Okay, we had some good, good, some good uh, scouts going in there, making, <laughs> making, uh, making use of 
the map trying to find all the hidden little secrets. Okay, what are we using for maybe our last map here? Let me see. Something we can do okay with. Hmm. If we're going to Mahi, maybe, uh, how about, I, I haven't, I see the aerospray suggested a lot, and I barely ever use the aerospray, because I think the, uh, the seekers don't work out a lot of the time, but I think they might do a little better in splat zones, especially with big open maps like Mahi and Walleye. All right. So we are streaming the Splatfest, but not tonight. I'll start it tomorrow to make sure it's at a normal time for you guys. We used to do midnight, right, when the Splatfest started, but I figured that was a little crazy for most time zones. Unless you're on the other side of the world or something, it's not really a good time for most people. So I'm going to hold off, and we will stream tomorrow. I'll try to give myself enough time to, you know, get full rank up and get as many of those delicious super sea snails as I can. I don't eat them, but Spike loves them. Okay, we gotta. I think we gotta finish on on Mahi, maybe, if we can if we can try it. But we'll do at least one here on Walleye. Okay, ooh, they got some close range weapons, so I gotta be careful. But at least they're not all long range that I have trouble with with these types of weapons. But yeah, the aerospray. It's funny to think. I keep mentioning whenever I use it, it's like the heyday of the aerospray. You used to see it everywhere. Now you don't see it as much. But I do think the uh, the rapid fire aero spray is uh, is still good. It's especially now. I think most players would probably do better with it than they used to. Not just because they spend more time, so there's more practice. But a lot of Japanese players I mentioned last time have been changing to a very close combat type of uh, type of attack style, to where they're really they'll get real close to you and just hit and run. They'll use the sploosh-o-matic, which is even closer range than the aerospray, and they've been doing really well with that, so maybe we'll see the return of the aerospray. There we go. So I love those seekers. You can throw them out and uh, get a nice splat with them, even when someone's on the other side of the map there. Kind of hide from me. I'm doing my best to uh, get them now. Everyone's jumping in. Can I stop them? There we go. Save my friends. There we are. Get them, get them, get them. Everyone's staying alive as best they can. I think we got this locked down, so we'll have another match here pretty quick, hopefully. Oh, Inkzuka. Do not like that. Get this guy as well, if I can. Ooh, anyone going around this way? Yes, the roller. Where are they going? Oh, nice use of, uh, nice use of those crazy burst bombs. Oh, jeez, got the one. <laughs> this is getting close here. Go, go, go. Where are they? Where are they? They're gonna hide now. I got my Inkzuka. Yeah, even I feel like the Inkzuka, unless unless you get splatted before you can even use it, it is really good. Like having a charger on your team, it'll put the uh, put the scare on them, and then you'll at least get the benefit of them avoiding the main area that you're blocking for a bit. So I do think it is good to just to have. Same with the Kraken, but the Kraken I feel like people can counter a lot easier nowadays. So it's not as big of a deal. Right, throw that in. Oh man, it landed on the corner, so they didn't even didn't even see my didn't even see the wrath of my uh what was it? <laughs> Can't even remember the name of my seeker. Okay, let's look out here. Someone's gonna be trying to get through, I'm sure. Whoa. Okay, seeker time, seeker time. Look out! Get out of there! Jeez, jeez, jeez. There they go. Take them out if I can. They got better range than I do. <laughs> oh no, they took the turf. We didn't even uh, <laughs> didn't even have the zone there towards the end. They came back. We had such a good lead, but they just totally turned that around. Jeez, I thought we had that one. All right, let's switch it up for the last one on Mahi if we can get the new map. We will finish with that. Oh, yeah, they had some lower leveled players, but they still fought really well. They're probably celebrating because <laughs> they uh, maybe I don't. I almost get the feeling that a lot of Japanese players have started new characters to rank up again or something. Because I notice there's a lot of lower level people, but a lot of them seem to be really good. So who knows? Maybe they've got a second Wii U that they're jumping on or a different account. Okay, create a squad. This might be our last match of the night. Thank you guys again. What should we use to finish up? Something good. Something that can cover that zone and protect my fellow squid kids. Maybe the splash matic I did see this recommended earlier. The suction bombs would be good. I want to go with the chat, though. I want to make sure I'm using what you guys want to see. 
I've seen a few Luna Blasters. Hmm. The Neo. I think the Neo might be better, even though the Inkzuka is really good. Those Splat Bombs are amazing. Let's use, use the Neo. Maybe a little damage up so that we can, uh, we can get... Uh, those splats a little earlier, so let's try that. Okay, we got everyone in here. Hopefully Foxy won't put us in the <laughs> in the running to fight some S rankers, because I might lose my my a minus here. We'll be okay. We're not gonna jump down a rank from just one battle, but I'm afraid. Ross says they're gonna stream the Splatfest definitely, but that will be tomorrow for tonight. I'm hoping to get one last match on the new map to finish up. So many because there's little burger and pizza emoji on YouTube, then there's so many in the chat now. Okay, three S rankers against one S ranker, and you know, the A rankers are in there as well, but I'm gonna try our best here. We did well, there we go, all right. This might be a loss, but I'm going down fighting, trying to see if I can get used to the blasters more. Foxy's S rank, and he uses a Luna Blaster, so I wanna be like Foxy. All right, go, go, go. <laughs> Foxy the pirate going on to the uh, aquatic map here. All right, let's look out, because I know, I just know they're gonna try to be sniping, right? Do they have any? They don't have any chargers, actually. Okay, go, 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 before they can push in here. Gotta get this, gotta get this. Turf, they're using a bunch of uh, splash walls, which is gonna be a little tough to avoid. Getting our, uh, getting blocked out. All right, let me see if I can go around this way and uh, maybe stop some peeps here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah, this thing is so close range. At least they don't have any really long range weapons. This is a squad that could benefit from uh, from having a bit of uh, a bit of chargers on their side, but I guess they don't need it. They're just gonna <laughs> get around us with that crazy run speed and Octo shot us. Okay, I got the lead, but we can get it back here. We're both throwing our burst or our splat bombs to try to get that stuff built up. They did have an Inkzuka. Get him, get him. Ah, oh, jeez. Jump in and uh, try to take him. Oh, I thought the ramp was up. <laughs> that was the worst. We'll get used to this map. Oh, the water level's dropping. That was weird. It like popped in because of that. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, man. They're taking the zone and then they're gonna just try to spawn camp us here. All right. I've got my bombs, though. I'm just gonna kind of throw them all over the place here. See if we can get someone. Nobody, but at least it scared him a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. We will redeem ourselves in the Splatfest, and hopefully the uh, the better team will win in the end. Thank you guys for watching. It's probably gonna be it. Can we take anyone out? Probably not. Get him, get him. <laughs> Jeez, I got one. <laughs> right at the end, I did get him. Man, the, a lot of these Japanese teams, they know about mobility. They know how to ink and use that run and swim speed up to get around you. All right, thank you guys again for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. We will get back to other games as well, but definitely more Splatoon this weekend. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Jeez, they're all level 50s. See you next time for more. Goodbye.